Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. All the info, none of the fluff. So let's get to it. Somebody on Reddit asked this question, is there a way to choose a scale from a list and hide all note rows not in that scale? First off, the answer is yes. There's this command in the MIDI editor called hide unused note rows. I also have that in my MIDI toolbar. So for example, I got this track right here where I wrote a bunch of stuff in. I can hit it. Now I'm only seeing the used notes in that track and not any of the other notes. We see some extra notes and that probably means there's another item on my track that has those notes. But what you're asking is a little bit different. You want to choose a scale from a list and then only showing those notes. So yeah, that's kind of possible to do. One thing I can do on my MIDI window on the bottom, there's this thing called key snap. And then when I press key snap, I can choose a root and I can choose a scale. So let's choose, I don't know, G major. And now as you can see, some notes are grayed out. And then you, you see these yellow lines. These yellow lines are where the root of your note is. So let's say I want to start composing here and I want to write in G major. So I can create a new item next to it. And now what I can do is I can select the root. And then basically I have this custom action called create scale so I select G I go create scale now now it creates the scale diatonically and all the custom action does is it basically duplicates the selected notes up a second diatonically and it does it six times so now once I did that I can basically copy this up and down based on the range of my instrument right whatever my instrument range is that kind of dictates how many times I do this and that's why I didn't put that in the custom action because I could very easily go to my custom action and then once I'm here I can for example add select note in measure once I selected that, I can just go duplicate up an octave, down an octave, and have all the octaves filled. But I want to do this based on the range of my instrument, so I do it across one octave, and then I just copy them up a down octave. So now I have these notes on G major across four octaves, so if I hit this now, I will only see notes that exist in G major. So I can quickly create that based on any scale I want. And I don't even need to choose scales from here, right? I can always disable snap offset and use any kind of custom scale that I want. For example, I want to be in C whole tone, right? So all I do is and then I copy these up a few octaves. And now if I go to my item and select this, now I can write in whole tone scale. I can come select all these items and I can mute them, but you know, they exist there to give me a guide of which notes are within my scale. Now you won't see note names here, but you will see the note names up here. So as I go through notes, it is telling me the MIDI note number and it's telling me the note name. However, this is not a big deal for you probably because if you don't know scales and you want to use the system, you probably don't care what the name of this is. You're just going by sound. I personally know the scales, so I don't really use this. It's not like the best system, but it's the best one that I can think of. If you have a better way of doing this, definitely put it in the comments and help others. Now I can come here. I can unmute these tracks. I can set my time selection to the item and then go to file, export project MIDI, selected items only, time selection only, merge to single MIDI track. And I can put them all in the folder, give it a name like whole tone, hit close. Now I can navigate to the folder where I have all my scales and I can add a shortcut from it down here. And now whenever I want to bring in a scale, I can bring in my minor scale and this is my A minor. So if I want to go to say C minor, I just move them up to C, copy it up and down a few octaves, and then mute them. And now if I create an item, I can go hide unused, and now I only see everything in C minor. And that's that. So it takes a little bit of work. It's not as easy as looking up a list. However, because I'm such a nice guy, I'm going to write a bunch of scales and they will all be in the key of C and they will all be across one octave. And then I'll have that folder available for download. I'll put the link in the description. And then you have, you know, the major scale, the minor scale, the Dorian scale. Um, I'll put some minor pentatonics. I'll put some interesting Middle Eastern ones in there. Uh, just a bunch of scales. And then when you want, you can bring them into your project with the key snap disabled. You can move them up or down as many semitones as you want. Just change changing the roots, the scale remains the same. So if I write C Dorian for you and you want to be in E Dorian, you just move it up four semitones. And then all you gotta do, put these two actions. So there's one hide unused note rows and then show all note rows. Put these in your toolbar or assign a hotkey to them or what have you. And you can quickly do this, which I think is a decent enough approximation of what you needed to happen. So there you go. If anybody has any questions about MIDI, now is the time to post them in the comments and then I'll get to your question very soon as well. Bye.